Yes, uh, thank you very much. Um, so today it's my pleasure to kind of kickstart a new Zio Zap project uh, called Zio Insight, and uh, very happy to take you like to the ideas that we already have. At the moment, it's not more than ideas, uh, and then so we are looking for contributors. So I work for Cyworks as an engineer, and I live just around the corner at this beautiful place. So. So while we were working on the uh, Scala JS client for the metrics, uh, so we were coming to a point where we were asking ourselves, wouldn't it be nice if the UI we were working on would be capable of actually viewing the metrics that we expose from Zio applications um, inside our Scala JS client, and on top of that, also leverage the work Kit has done to visualize the dependency graphs that are exposed like in the uh, from the uh, compiler, uh, also access, uh, leverage the work that has been put into Zio 2 for ac actually uh, enabling casual profiling and then dynamically turn off and turn on uh, sections uh, or profiling of sections of code and visualize that as well and keep everything with a pluggable architecture uh, so that people can come on and add their own plugins. So, and this is what we call Zio Inside. So, from an architecture level, so on the right hand side you would see, so we have Zio applications. Uh, all of them are Zio 2, so in various Scala versions. So the idea is that we, so every Inside plugin that I've just mentioned would add supervisors or runtime config aspects to the, to the actual Zio application to expose the data we are interested in. So the metrics, the profiling information, the dependency graphs, and whatever you can think of. So these supervisors would actually leverage uh, a low-level protocol to kind of advertise themselves and their metadata to what we call an inside server. So the inside server would be like the collection point of summarizing the data, pre-aggregating the data, organizing the data, and provide a useful and reasonable API to the actual client, uh, so that the client could then go and navigate the metrics, it can navigate the fiber traces, it can navigate um, the dependency graphs. So you would see like in one glance on your uh, Zio Insight application, so you would see whatever you're interested in inside your running Zio applications. So from, let's say, the technology stack we are envisioning, so we made, so on the UI side, we made very good experience like implementing the Scala JS client uh, on top of Scala JS. So we are intending to use Scala JS on top of Scala 3 and Laminar and Tailwind. So this is what we are currently using for the Scala JS metrics clients. So then, obviously, what's missing is like a component library, so to build more than a metrics client. So at the moment, we are just building a metrics client, so we would have to build other components to visualize the dependency graphs and whatever else we want to visualize. So, so from a terminology point of view, so we are kind of just to understand what we are talking about, we're talking about like a Zio container would be the single JVM instance hosting a Zio application instrumented with all the supervisors we need to actually expose the data. So at the moment, we have exactly one of them, so exposing the metrics. Um, so we have already looked into creating the supervisors for exposing the dependency graphs. So this is completely doable, so we just need to add it to the Zio 2 core. Uh, so we can also expose the, let's say, the remote controls for enabling and disabling the profiling, the profiling stuff. So this is doable in, in, inside the ZO2 core, so that, that will come over the next couple of weeks, hopefully. So we have a ZO application, so, so just imagine so, so your application consists of more than one container, so this is what we call an application. So, so you have one leg, two legs of your application, so the entire range of containers make up your Zio application. So, and this is like a Zio Insight instance would monitor a complete 
the EU application. So then we have like the protocol plugins. So we need to define a protocol that every plugin would be, could use, but we need to keep the protocol fairly simple and extensible. So because not every plugin will speak the same language, so we have to give them a framework so that they com can communicate their metadata. So the supervisors, so the inside supervisors, are actually what's plugged into the Zio containers. So there, there have been called supervisors before, and I think the new name is runtime config aspects, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> so, um, so the inside UI plugins is obviously what makes everything shine and glow, so, so, which is actually what the developer would use to look at, uh, to look at the metrics, look at the dependency graphs, look at the fiber traces, navigate the stuff, uh, query the stuff. So we're currently exploring or trying to come up with like the wireframes, how it actually should look like. So whatever, whatever ideas are out there in the Zio community, so we're gladly taking whatever ideas there, there might be. So and then the inside module so is kind of the sum of it all. So you need uh, the supervisors, you need the protocol plugins, and you need the UI plugins to actually make up a Zium uh, inside module. So, so, the, what, so this is what we're going to start with. So we have like, at first we have the container discovery. So, uh, so at the end of the day, so this is telling the inside instance what is the application we are actually um, looking at, so the sum of the containers. So then we have already the Scala.js client um, in the ZMX project. So we are going to take the UI part of the Scala.js um, uh, client towards uh, Zio Insight so that we get everything into a single UI so that we don't have like a metrics client in ZMX and some other clients in Insight. So we're going to migrate the complete UI part to Zio Insight. So, and then um, we want to look at the things I've just mentioned, the profiling. So, so the idea is that for running applications, so at the moment, so you, you have to write specific tests to kind of execute the tests and execute them a sufficient number of times to get like the profiling data into a file and then you can upload that file to a certain web page for the casual profiling and they will render the graphs and they will show you like the pain points of your application that can, that I, that, so all the areas of the application that show the most potential for, for being optimized. So this, since this entire thing we want to kind of give the developer like a button to enable or, or a, a, a navigation scheme to kind of select the select the code that shall be profiled run while the application is running so we collect the data so and then uh, eventually so when we have collected sufficient amount of data inside the zero inside application we will also show the graphs so you know so there's no data collection and uploading and visualizing, so it's all in one place. So the fiber trace visualization, uh, there was a Rust client uh, a, a while ago. Uh, I haven't played with it for a couple of months. Uh, uh, so, so this is the idea is you can navigate and um, navigate and look at the fiber traces that are actually there. And the dependency graphs, you may have seen them when you have been playing with uh, ZO2 already. So the, uh, dependency graphs are actually visualizable at the moment at compile time, so we are intending to take that into the UI as well. So it's not going to be done in a day, so therefore we have phases. So the first phase is kind of get the uh, first couple of supervisors on the protocol level and do headless testing so that we know the protocol is working. Um, and then, not necessarily in sequence, but maybe in parallel, if we have enough contributors. Um, so we can start working on the basic UI components and the user interface and experience design. Um, and then we will have the initial views for exactly the same, the protocol plugins we have uh, in the phase one. Um, and then phase three is like the more complicated plugins. Uh, so the metrics visualization is um, a migration of the from ZMX. Um, and then the profiling is 
most likely the most challenging part because there are some, some things we have to figure out because we have to collect sufficient amount of statistical data to actually do the visualization and so we need to think about how, that's, how that shall be done efficiently from, let's say, the inside UI at the end. So that kind of is a very challenging but also interesting project so, and it's just starting. So we have yesterday created the uh, Discord channel for Zero Insight. So the GitHub uh, repos repository is there, but empty. Um, so if you're interested in helping out and uh, if you have ideas on, on these kind of things, and if you, so just touch base with us. So here's my contact details. Uh, happy to see you on Discord or GitHub or other places. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.